Hey guys, welcome back to the third episode on how to make a first person shooter with Game Maker Studio. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas, I sure have. Let's get started with this one. In this tutorial we're going to add some type of health system for our character and also we're going to allow our enemies to fire back at us. And I'll see you in Game Maker Studio, so enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Game Maker Studio. Let's get started with the 3D first person shooter tutorial that I've created for you guys. So, first of all, I want to go uh, straight to the objects actually, but I want to show you the sprites first. Here we go, simple sprites. Well, that's it. Um, you can check this out if you download the file. It's not very big, it's about 4 megabytes, I think. Um, well, that, that's all there is to say about the sprites. They aren't very interesting. So let's go to the sounds, two sounds, silenced weapon and a gun. The gun is basically for the enemies. And my mouse cursor has disappeared again. There it is. Backgrounds. This used to be a grid texture, but it turned into a white texture for some reason, and it's awesome. It looks great. So it's the best bug I've ever encountered in Game Maker Studio so far. So scripts, these two scripts, they allow us to use mid mapping. Thanks to this user, he's awesome. You should check him out right now. Just cl click away from this video. You should check him out right now. He's awesome. Let's go to the fonts. It's basically this. This only uh, this font right here is for the GUI, the graphical user interface. And that's all there is. That was really quick. Let's go straight to the objects. Object player. I'm gonna go in depth in all of these, so don't worry. These two are for mid mapping. This one is to enable 3D mode in Game Maker Studio. And if you're using an Android module or a or an iOS module or something like that, something for mobile devices, you should use this one at a step event as well, as it will turn itself off for some reason or another. I don't know why, but you should really do it. Give you this set hidden, hides objects behind each other. This is just for three dimensional lighting. I've turned it off because I don't like it in this particular project. If you set culling, it allows us to draw only one side of each vertice, or however you pronounce that, the vertices. Draw set color, the default color is black, and I've set it to white so we can add some textures that are visible. Crouching is just a variable, so is Z, pitch, Z2, FOV, you basically know what that is, I guess. If not, it's the field of view. And I've set it to 80, it's, it's quite low actually. A default would be about 90 or about 100 or something, but I've set it to 80 because it fits the project very well. And then we have D3 set shading, which uh, just gives a more smooth look to the game. I like it. The depth, this must be the deepest object of them all, otherwise it just won't work with the projection and all that. Texture grid is this one. Draws an alpha test ref value. There's uh, still a minimum amount of alpha that will be drawn or something, I don't know how to explain it, but if you just middle mouse click on this one you'll get this beautiful thing here you know exactly what it means fog this is the color for the fog and set fog to true let's go to oh yeah of course this one loading the gun model and a lot of variables you can just ignore these just copy and paste them into your game and look good I promise step event this is for looking around and closing the game by pressing escape Let's go to the aiming, this is where you aim, this recoil, making an object, making the sound, and flinching when getting shot and restarting the game where you're dead. Next one, controls, this is a lot of it. Just take a good look at it and you'll understand it within a matter of a minute or something. When you collide with a wall, you will get this beautiful strings, these beautiful strings of code, and when you get hit, you'll lose a couple of HP and your flinch will go to 5 and eventually you will die of course. 
Let's draw the projection. Just a quick look at it. Here you go. DVD draw floor. This is just drawing the floor as it's supposed to do. Draw the gun. Yeah. My mouse cursor has disappeared again. No, don't do that. Thank you. Transforming and stuff like that. Drawing the gun as we've done so many times right now. And the GOI in the end. So here we go, draw the health bar, alpha, and this is the flinching. This is a red rectangle that you'll see when you get shot. It's pretty cool. So the floors, not very interesting, so you can take a look at them yourself. Here you go. Enemies are more interesting though, because we've already made enemies. These are basically the same enemies as I've done in my first tutorial on first person shooters with Game Maker. But this time they actually shoot back. I mean, they already shot back, but it was only making a sound. But this time they're actually firing bullets at you, so they can kill you. So they can fall over, and my mouse cursor has disappeared again. I don't know why that happens, I'm sorry. They will get alerted. And object bullets, when they get hit, they'll die. Stuff like that. Draw themselves. That's that. Our bullets not very interesting, but their bullets are a bit more interesting. They'll follow their own rotation and stuff like that. Object death is just basically uh, an object that disappears after 16 milliseconds, 16 steps, I should say. An object view. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. I will explain actually what object death actually is for. When an enemy dies, uh, I mean it's right here. When an enemy dies, it will create object death. And then, when it's close to object death, it will notice that there's someone dead near his position, so it will become alerted. And when that dead person is near and he sees the player, the player will get spotted. So yeah, that's it for now, actually. It's a quick tour through the tutorial, and I really hope it helps. If it does, please leave a like, and, uh, well... Good luck creating your first person shooter. I'll see you later. Goodbye.